Cross the Grad. Oh, I remember when I first saw Cross the Grad, how impressed I was. It was just this behemoth that they were like, oh, better infiltrate this. Like, and I go like, infiltrate that? Fuck that. Yeah, that was the scene. That was like the uh, the the view of like fuck that. So many of them. Oh boy. Well, here we are. Grozny Grat. Time to fuck this bitch up. I'm full of everything, of course I am. Who thought they saw me? Who? 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 Is there a better pain I can use? Black is better. All right, black. Black face is this. Your imagination, right? We'll leave him here. So, what's the thing that you need to do? Get um, Rykov's clothes. You are a fucking genius, aren't you? Here we go. Deep into the heart of the Grosny Grads. Oh boy. I can't begin to tell you how many times I got caught like doing this. That's so great. Didn't. Huh. Guess I'm seeing things. All right. And I go. Right, just gotta nick Rykov's clothes, put the stupid Raiden mask on. What? You 
You are seeing things. This isn't helping at all. the problem you're shooting him instead of me look should have, should have dressed like a scientist That's not that's not right off. <coughs> oh come on. There we go. Open. did it. Right, one of this. Got it. Did it. It was dirty, but I did it. Mr. Lightning Bolt. Look at Raiden. You'll be fine here. It'll be it'll, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Put the mask on. Uniform. Officer. Now let's get a fucking bullet out. That was a cut. Oh no, oh no, not like this. Because you can press triangle to, to salute and they'll salute you back. And now I have free reign to this place. Like, I'm not kidding, it's just... I can do whatever the hell I want. Which means... It's time to loot the place. Loot it. Drive. See? They're scared. As well they should be.
Well, anywho. The best bit is now I can go outside and loot. Sir. Yes. And and a good day to you too, man. Sir. <clears throat> Keep up the fine work, sir. Get the hell out of here. Are you going to tell me what to do? I can do Sir. I can do whatever I want. Keep up the fine work, sir. Yeah. You. Keep up the fine work, sir. What are you doing in here? Got a scorpion. They must go like, oh, Rykov's in one of his moods again. He's been going punching people. Man, these are some really nice toilets. For like a public area. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. You're just going to take it. Sir. Alright. Now I'm going to go outside and loot. And then I'll go do the rest of the thing. Because, you know. Now that I actually. This is the only time you get free reigns of, of Grozny Grab. What? <laughs> what? Thank you, sir. Oh, I'm coughing really hard. Look at all these free stuff I can get. Keep up the fine work, sir. You bet I will. Everyone's going like, oh, Major Rykov's going around punching people again. And we can't do anything about it. Forgive me for troubling you, sir. You bet your ass you were troubling me. I can salute myself. Sir. Drop your gun. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Torture room. I guess we're here preemptively, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> Who's? You are pardoned. Why 
wonder if this will fuck me up afterwards. Anyway, we're out. Put a little timestamp on the video just in case, like, people don't actually care when I'm done exploring Grosny Crab. It's weird that Rykov can't, like, as Rykov, he can't hold a gun. Even though he attacked you with a gun. Ah, it's just observation. All right, time to eat something. Let's see the calorie mate. I love that in the um, AGD Hue run, that guy literally ate nothing. Like that was. One of the more impressive things I've ever seen in my life. Okay. I'll go out here. And, uh, this side. Wait, where does this lead? Northwest of Grozny Grad. Grozny Grad is such a badass place. That's a fucking dog. Sir. LMG No So apparently if you get in here you put a box on uh, Well if you put a box on it'll transport you somewhere Right, this is the exit. This is how I leave Grassy Grant later. Cool. All right. Am I going from here? Nah, I didn't think so. Physically dying here. Okay. Let's. I, I guess I've looted the entire entirety of Grozny Grat. Is this even a real door? You. <laughs> Why is that why is that door not real? You tell me. You're the soldier. Anywho. Mad with power. It's rare that you get so much power, man.
There it is. The fucking Shadow Heart. Right, this is the thing I wanted to try for the longest time, but I've never, never actually had the. Ch oh no. Okay, yeah, no, it's right. This is correct. I've always wanted to do this, but I never actually had the, uh, the chance to do it. Is I'm going to take the mask off, put those two guys to sleep, and then and then do it as Snake. Did I not equip a gun? How stupid this looks. Hello? Snake, those sentries are the only ones who can open the door. You won't be able to get into the West Wing if you knock them all out. You'll just have to go someplace else and wait for new sentries to be posted. Ah. Uh, that makes more sense. Will will they let will they let um will they let Snake in though? Well, worth a, worth a shot, right? Please let me through. God damn it. Okay, okay, okay. Mash and start. Dare point a gun at me? So what do you do then? <coughs> like, how do you get past that? Like, if you don't, if you say, if you don't put, I like MGS2, and you don't get the mask. Guess we'll never know. Guess we'll never know. All right. Um, food. Let's eat that Russian ration. Get get that to full. You too. Let me through. Open the damn thing. Sir. I forgot about I forgot that snake actually took the mask off and then he puts it back on. You can count on me. What about the philosopher's legacy? I don't know anything about that. What are you? Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? <gasps> I know nothing, I swear it. No one but the Colonel knows of the legacy. I 
I see. No, don't! Oh. <laughs> Scary. Who's there? You're the man from the CIA. What are you doing here? Getting you out. I told out. you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> A man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me, the Shagohards. <laughs> exactly. The final preparations for Phase 2 are complete. Sokolov, what exactly is Phase 2? To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium-range ballistic missiles. So, yeah, I've, I've started to read it now. Was so, designed as a if you choose I like MGS2, it just puts any the mask terrain. on Snake during the opening cutscene. He'll problem. still have we the mask. Figure out how to solve. Ah. The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohod to carry. But the military would not hear of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. That is when I came up with the idea for Phase 2. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagohod. So how do you do it? By accelerating the Shagohod itself. Accelerating it. In phase two, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohod. The unit incorporates the same technology used in the Vostok rocket that sent Major Gagarin into space. Using this booster, the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. That monster can go more than 300 miles per hour? Yes. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. Yes, precisely. The range of the missile launched by the Shagohod thus increases from 2,500 miles to 6,000 miles. 6,000 miles? Shit, that's super far. That's enough to strike anywhere in the United States. Not only that, with the Shagohod, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. It's a mobile fortress, capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. A weapon from hell. You've created a monster. This is all your fault. One hundred percent. Completed prototype now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. But Volkin is planning to mass produce them based on that prototype and deploy them all over the Soviet Union. Yes, and that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohar as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. His funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a cold war is because each side fears the other's power. Deterrence. The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. But the Shagohard goes far beyond the level of threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If such a weapon is unleashed on the world, 
It will not be long before all nations are engulfed in conflict. The Cold War will end, and the entire planet will be consumed by the fires of war. Vulcan and the Shag Ohad will be at the center of it all. So this is entirely your vault. So you see, it's already too late. No, it's not too late. What do you mean? We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. But just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. <laughs> All right. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow. Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. What the fuck is C3? C3. You mean that cutting-edge plastic explosive? It could be molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. Where can I get it? There was some in the armory here, but it's gone now. It was stolen by a female spy who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Vulcan's lover. I thought she was your lover. Mine? Oh, no. She is Volgin's lover. This is my lover. Who are they? My wife and daughter. They're in America. They're so pixelated. Now I remember. Your family is in the custody of the CIA. How long has Tatiana been here? Only a few weeks. A few days before the virtuous mission, then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. <sighs> no. I'm not going. My mission is to rescue you. Leave me, Sokolov. You're Khrushchev being has abandoned me. unnecessarily arsy right now. I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the Gulags. What about the U.S.? Yes, I once thought of that. My family's waiting for me there. But even if I fled to the United States... I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. In the end, it doesn't matter where I go. I am still a weapons scientist. To be honest with you, I'm tired. Every day I help create things that should never be used. Things that should never have existed in the first place. Every day, without sleep. Without a word of praise from others. And my creations do not even benefit mankind. They are merely the tools of politicians. All I wanted to do was build space rockets. But it was not to be. The space race between America and Russia became the prey of politicians. The space race and the arms race are one and the same. Missiles, rockets, what's the difference? Scientists are always being used. Please, watch over my family. That's gotta be a bit difficult. Oh boy. Major, what are you doing here? A lot. I've been waiting for you in my room. Uh. 
Who are you? Far too Don't big. Play dumb with me. If you think you can fool me, you're sorely mistaken. I know the Major better than anyone else. I come here looking for Tatiana, and what should I find? But a greasy freebooter. Oh, jeez. disguise it's gonna rub off on you and then you'll lose sight of who you really are stay out of this yeah boss See why they call you the boss. What was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form of close quarters combat. He and I developed it together. Splendid. I'll take it from here. Are you going to kill him? <sighs> of course. But first. I will make him pay for hurting Ivan. Those blood streams are something else. So well too. That was me coughing my lungs out. Ah, my head. The fact that snake is still standing says a lot. Ow, ow. Ow. How badly broken is his skull now? Oh jeez. <laughs> 